and introduce him to you first. Fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 66.3 kilograms and trains under Simon Carson and Sam Kakembo out of absolute MMA. With an undefeated amateur record of one win for zero defeats, make some noise for Mason, the little Asian Nobetsu. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 66.3 kilograms and trained under Daniel Bell out of Iron Fist with an amateur record of two wins for just one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Isaac, the pool boy, Smoke! And when our action begins, our referee in charge, Thomas Churchill. Thomas Churchill, your man in the middle for this bout. The undefeated Mason Nobetsu coming off a victory over Jacob Prosser. Uh, round one, you ready? Also you undefeated ready? on Stop. Eternal is Isaac Small wins over Basilio Degesu and Jimmy McKenna. Can he add the little Asian to that list? It's here on Nathan Cage side with you once again with Carl Noak. Round one underway. Ooh, strong leg kick there. Look at the size of the legs on Mason. How strong does the kid look? Mason is absolutely huge for this division. A reminder, ladies and gentlemen, our main event on our main card here at Eternal 67, Juice versus Rideout for the Eternal Welterweight Championship. Sign up at UFC Fight Pass. Nice kicks there by Mason. Mason looks very strong with them kicks. Changing the levels very oh, well. Goodness, look at that level change, Kyle. As he, he's doing a great job of, of hit, striking from the outside, and as soon as Isaac comes in a little bit too close, he's changed levels and for a takedown straight it, away. And this is his bread and butter, isn't it, Kyle? Especially trading out of absolute. You have to expect this if you're Isaac Small. Absolutely. Um, you, you can see Mason now, he's very tight, and a lot of pressure on him there. He's not given too much distance and too much space for Isaac to move on the ground. And just unloading there with some heavy ground and pound while not creating too much space. Just looking to go to Mount now, looking to pass that half guard. Doing a good job of controlling the arm. Not letting Isaac use that arm to, to advance his position on the ground, on bottom. If he can hook that, he can unload some heavy ground and pound as well. Which he does. I think Isaac needs to turn into him a bit more and try and replace that guard. He doesn't want to stay in a position like this with a guy like Mason. Mason doing a good job, just doing enough ground and pound for the ref not to try and stand him up, I guess. Well, he's very active, Carl. Mason Nabetsu, he's, he's, he's not giving Isaac any room to improve his position no, here. Past the half guard now, he's got a great pin on that arm. And this is big for Mason, but can Isaac get back to his feet? He does so, but he's not out of the woods yet. Mason, uh, Isaac needs to be careful standing up and not turning his back to him. A guy like Mason, you do not want to give him any distance, any space to, to, to work a takedown. You can tell how strong Mason is, just pushing him around, throwing him around, but Isaac doing a great job of keeping us on the feet right now. As he tries to frame off on the head now. Nice strike. Mason, very sticky though. He's not letting go of that waist, is he? No, he's not. And you can definitely see that this is, that his preparation for this fight is well and truly on point. But the pool boy lands a knee of his own and breaks there. This is where he needs to be, Kyle. Absolutely. Try and keep that distance. Don't let Mason get in too close. Don't get. Here at Eternal 67. All right, round two, you ready? As Thomas two, Churchill signals us underway for round number two. To fake some feints early. Mason favoring that kick every time. Be nice to see him set up those kicks with a bit of hands in front first. He'd have more success for that kick, but I would not like to take one of them kicks. As the pool boy now looks to find his distance and land some heavy shots. Well, that's better pressure from Isaac Small, but it's answered with pressure of his own from Mason Nabetsu. And you see when Mason lands those two shots with the hands, uh, Pulway's hands are up very high, which gives him a chance to shoot too. So it's another thing Isaac has to be prepared for. And there oh, we go. Look again. at that. Wow. The specimen Mason just throwing him to the ground. He just looks like a strong athlete. He's got big shoulders, big legs, very lean. Like you said, he's big for this division. 
at the amateur featherweight level. Speaking of featherweights, his teammate Jack Jenkins, the eternal featherweight champion, no doubt supporting his teammate from Absolute MMA. And there's no question that he'll have his eyes firmly fixed on our co-main event. Yeah, what, what a training partner to have for this Mason. Cool boy doing a good job now, trying to get back to his feet. Mason's just too smothering though, great replacement of the guard. It's going to nullify a lot of Mason's submissions now. Looking for a triangle himself. Mason's just a little bit too aware though. Body only. Just throw the legs to the side and straight back on him again. <laughs> He's doing... <laughs> he just questioned his coaches. <laughs> I thought he was questioning the ref. <laughs> oh, goodness me. <laughs> nice, hooking around the head there, putting his pipe, putting him back on his back again. That's where Mason needs him to be. And Mason's going to look to mount here. Nice high near cross, beautiful. Well, Mason's full done mount. his homework, yeah, full mount for Mason now, and he's got to watch that right arm, Kyle. Absolutely. Or the back. Yeah, but Isaac's trying to give up his back here too. This could lead to a uh, head arm triangle for Mason as well if, if he does go back to his back now. He's put himself in a bad position. Isaac doesn't want to hang out here too long. So Mason lets go now. I'm sure he's going to posture up and go for some ground and pound. Well, let's wait and see. Just over uh, under, rather, 30 seconds left in round number two. And it has been all Mason Nabetsu. Nice ground and pound there. And that's what I means he's in that bad position. He's half on his side. He's not giving his full front. He's not giving his back. He's just in a great position for Mason to ground and pound, which you see him doing. Well, Maybe. 10 seconds left, and Mason will ride the wave. Round three, very lean. Round three, let's finish it. Round three, let's finish it, says Thomas Churchill. Will the fighters oblige? Let's oh, wait and nice. see. Isaac's starting to land some heavy shots now. As he gives a little nod to Mason. So he just runs in every time. It's going to give Mason that opportunity to shoot. Oh, that's a good shot from Small. Shot. And another shot. Both of those right hands. The second one landed flush. Oh, his confidence has gone up, I think. He's got his attention now, does he, the pool boy? Absolutely. And that's what he needs to do to stop Mason getting confident to come in. If he can land some... There we go. Mason straight back to that overhand right to a shot. He must have heard you, Cole. <laughs> he must have <laughs> and heard back you. back to the ground. And it's more of the same. And Isaac really needs to get some distance between him and Ma Mason right now, get back to the feet, and that's going to be his only chance to win the fight from here. Well, he does indeed. And with, with, these, with these amateur fights, Cole, it's only three minutes. Yeah. It's, it's plenty of time if you're on top, but it's, it's you know, <laughs> if you're on the bottom, you've you got to come up with something special. Isaac, Isaac Small needs to do that. Yeah, and with these three-minute rounds, too, you have to treat each round like a sprint. It can't be like a, a jog or a run, you know. It, it has to be a sprint round. So if he's got any energy, he needs to go right now. They're well, laughing there. He's having a good time. <laughs> they're having a great time inside the cage. Well, we're having a great time out here, so that's good. Oh, absolutely. And how good have these fights been for the first few fights of the night? You have to give credit to both Cam O'Neill and Ben Vickers. There's no such thing as a mismatch here at Eternal MMA. And tonight, these matches have been absolutely incredible. Nice arm control there by Isaac. He's not letting him sneak those hands up for a rear naked choke. And not completely giving up his back either, but Mason doing a great job of control as well. See Mason using his feet there on his hip to stop him from turning all the way, and Isaac gets back up. Beautiful work by Isaac. He's got to go here, Kyle. He's got just under a minute to work. Yeah, he He's really got does. to pick up the pace, oh. does the pool boy. He closes the distance there. Nice, nice switch and stance there. I'd like to see him stay in that south boy. He's a lot of success in that position. It's almost a second wind here for Isaac Small. Can he make something of it? I think he senses that he has to go here. He's having a great time. Love 30 seconds this. left. He presses oh, the action beautiful. here. Both men oh. landing. Again, beautiful framework now. Isaac needs to keep us on the feet. Heavy, heavy, heavy. 
Ten seconds now, T. Ten seconds. Oh, beautiful. And down he goes again. Nabetsu. Able to lock those hands underneath his backside. And Stop. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of back and forth action, we go to your judges' scorecards for a decision. Our judges score the contest 30-27, 30-27, and 30-26 for your winner via unanimous decision in the blue corner, Mason Nabetsu.